What's up, friendos? It's me, it's me, it's Exotic MTG, and I'm gonna do something today that I haven't ever done. I don't think. But I know that people love watching these openings, so I got one of these crappy <laughs> secret, like, Walmart boxes. So it contains two booster packs, one deck, and a storage cube. The cube's kinda cool, but not 20 bucks cool. Two packs is great, but not 20 bucks great. It's a Dominaria and a Dragons of Tarkir. We could get lucky, I'm not sure, but can we see if this time it's worth it to buy a Magic Gathering Mystery Walmart snack? Ooh, I don't wanna just destroy this, so let's kinda, that should do. That'll do. All right. I'm sure that the deck that's in here is garbage, but that's okay. Um, let's let's just see if we can get lucky. Have you guys ever opened any of these from Target or Walmart or wherever you get them? Uh, if so, how was your experience? Let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, I guess we don't really need that, do we? Decent storage box. I'd give it a five dollar value um let's go with dominaria first see if we can't get karn or uh, a foil dampening sphere something cool something cool all right wizard retort shield of the realm Orcish Vandal, and look at that, we got a Mythic. We actually got a Mythic. Naru Miha Master Wizard. Uh, no foil. But hey, you know what? We already got a Mythic. It's probably like less than a dollar. But hey, it's a Mythic. Better than uh, other things that it could be. All right, next one is... Dragons of Tarkir. It has been a long time since I've opened this set. Um, let's see, what do we want to get? Uh, we want to get a Colgan's Command. Is that the one? Is that this set or is that Cons of Tarkir? I think the commands are from Dragons of Tarkir anyway. Orator of Ojutai. Minister of Pain. Storm Rider Rig, and a Live Living Lore. Not, not good. It's, it's not, not a good rare. Uh, it's even been reprinted in Master Sets. What did we get in our, oh, hey, look at that. We got the, is this the, like, the one with hardened scales in it? Is this the counters one? I could, mm, I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Well, there is some cons of Tarkir in here. So we got Warden of the First Tree, which is a pretty sweet card. It's a 1-1 one, one for one green human creature. Pay two uh, when it becomes a human warrior with base power and toughness, 3-3. Th three, three. Pay four. It's a warrior, uh, trample and lifelink. Pay six. Uh, it's a spirit. Put five 1-1 one, one counters on it. And it actually has damage on it, unfortunately. That's too bad. And then we got uh, Grim uh, Heruspex. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Smothering Abomination. A Whisperwood Elemental. Not bad mythic. A 4-4 four, four for 5. The beginning of your end step manifests the top card of your library. That's when, like, if, you're, if your library is here. Uh, you'll put it onto the battlefield face down and it'll be a 2-2 two, two token. And then sacrifice Whisperwood Elemental until end of turn. Face up non-token creatures you control. Gain when this creature dies. Manifest the top card of your library. So, yeah, we've already got three Mythics here. That's pretty cool. Brood Butcher. Ooh, look at that. Tassiger is even in here. And a Hangerback Walker. And an Evolutionary Leap. A Corpse Weft. And a Lanawar Waste. Dooley. Okay. So, this here, uh, ooh, Zolaport Cutthroats, 
this here will actually get some play. I think I'll actually use this here at the house. Um, I'll keep this deck together and maybe play it against some other, uh, you know, like constructed decks, like, like already constructed. Got some Evolving Wilds here, nice art on those, Jungle Hollows, Rogue's Passage, and then some Swampity Swamps. I'm actually not disappointed. Uh, I thought I was going to be very disappointed. I thought the only thing I was going to get out of this is some views. By the way, <laughs> thank you for the views. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked what you see. And the thumbs down if you didn't, because you know what? Uh, your opinion matters, and if I can do something better... Uh, then go ahead and comment down below. If you're loving what you see, comment down below. Uh, spread the love. And uh, we'll see you guys really soon, probably tomorrow, on another Exotic MTG video. Subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like.